In this video, you're going to learn how you can automate your repetitive task using something called a macro. A macro just simply records keystrokes and mouse clicks and so on. And what we're going to do is we're going to use Firefox and we're going to use a Firefox add-on. So if you're not using the Firefox browser, you're going to have to go to mozilla.com slash Firefox, download the Firefox browser. And then what you want to do is come and install iMacros for Firefox. And there's a link to that within the resources document. So once you've done that and you're on that page, all you have to do is click Add to Firefox. Okay, and then you'll get a screen that asks you if you want to install it. So we'll just click Install now and it will install. Okay, now it tells us we need to restart Firefox, so we'll do that. Just click the Restart button here. Okay, and then it comes back up like this when you're done. And you'll see the screen here that it is all done. Okay, there are a lot of different demos in here that you can have a look at. But I'm just going to show you how you can get started using this to do your own macros. And I'm just going to give you a simple lesson. Okay, for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to go to the Google main page here. And then I'm going to navigate to another site and then do a couple of other keystrokes and then we'll record that. Okay now what you have to do is you have to go to view and then what you want to go to is sidebar and then the macros here or you can hit F8 to get the sidebar up. Okay now at this point just click record right here and if you click record now it'll start recording what you do. Okay so let's click record and now let's go to let's say we're going to go to yahoo.com okay and as you can see over here it's recording what we're doing and then say we're going to go to groups and then we're going to find a group on classic cars this isn't a practical application however it just shows you what we're going to do. Okay. And then it brings up our results here. At this point, we can click Stop. And now we can save it. We can save it to a custom name. So let's say we want to call it uh, Classic Car Search. Okay. Click OK. Now we can run that at any time. Let's just go back to Google again. OK, and you see here we have our favorites in our list here. And you'll see there's our classic car search. So if we go to play and we go to classic car search, click play and watch what happens here. And there it goes. So that can automate any of your repetitive tasks that you do. Say you want to go to eZine Articles and you want to sign into your eZine Articles account and then you want to fill out a description that's always the same. You could program a macro to do that. Okay, so that is a simple way that you can use your macros.